Do you masturbate every day? FYI, that's not how I start all of my conversations. But hear me out. It's the kind of question most men won't ask out loud. But it's one that matters more than you think. Maybe you've heard the rumors that daily masturbation could damage your prostate, cause inflammation, or even raise your risk of cancer. But what if actual science said the opposite? What if the truth was not only stigma-free, but actually life-saving? Today, we're unpacking the facts, not the myths, behind daily masturbation, ejaculation, and your prostate. With the help of scientific studies conducted by one of the most respected institutions in the world, Harvard University based in Massachusetts in the United States. First, Welcome to Prime Male Health, where we talk about practical, science-backed ways to take control of your body, your health, and your confidence in life and in the bedroom. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us and helps us produce new male health education videos every week. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. Now back to today's topic. What is the prostate? Let's start with a quick anatomy check. The prostate is a small gland about the size of a walnut, located just below your bladder. It surrounds part of your urethra and plays a critical role in producing the fluid that carries sperm. Now here's the catch. As you age, your prostate becomes more vulnerable to swelling, to dysfunction, and most critically, to cancer. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers in men worldwide. And yet, most men have no idea how their everyday habits, including sexual ones, might protect or harm this vital gland. So let's look at the science. The Harvard study that changed everything, a groundbreaking study from Harvard Medical School followed over 32,000 men for 18 years. Researchers tracked their health, lifestyle habits, and yes, even how often they masturbated and ejaculated. Here's what they found. Men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had a 33% lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men who did so only a few times per month. Let me say that again. Men who ejaculated 21 or more times per month had a 33% lower risk of developing prostate cancer compared to men who did so only a few times a month. That's not opinion, that's hard data, and it flips decades of myth, shame, guilt, and misinformation on its head. So let's look at the science. Three science-backed theories. So what's the link? Why does more ejaculation appear to protect the prostate? Scientists have three main theories. One, the flush effect. Ejaculation acts like a natural detox. It clears out old cells, metabolic waste, and potential toxins from the prostate ducts, just like flushing your plumbing system before it clogs. 2. Healthier cellular turnover Frequent sexual activity may help your body replace aging or damaged prostate cells faster, reducing the chance of mutations or irregular growth. 3. Stress and inflammation reduction Orgasms release endorphins and reduce cortisol your body's main stress hormone. And since chronic stress is directly linked to systemic inflammation, including in the prostate, this could be another key mechanism of protection. In other words, less stress equals less inflammation equals lower cancer risk. But don't get it twisted. Hold your horses. Before you start putting your hand in your panties every hour, take a breather. This is not a magic bullet. The Harvard study shows a correlation, not a guarantee. It's not a guarantee. Frequent ejaculation might be one factor in better prostate health, but it's not the whole story. Men who ejaculate more often may also exercise more, eat healthier, be in better overall shape. So think of daily ejaculation as one tool, pun intended, in your prostate protection toolkit, not the only one. The pro-prostate lifestyle. If you're serious about long-term prostate health, here's how to stack your habits for maximum benefit. Regular ejaculation, solo or partnered, three or more times per week is a good benchmark. Eat smart, focus on tomatoes for lycopene. Green tea has great anti-inflammatory properties. Omega-3s from fatty fish or flax. 
Exercise daily. Even 30 minutes of walking improves hormone balance and circulation. Limit alcohol and ditch smoking. Both damage blood vessels and hormone pathways. Get regular checkups, especially PSA screenings if you're over 40. Early detection saves lives. Let me just expand a little on the PSA test. But first, please keep in mind, this video is meant to educate and empower, not diagnose nor prescribe. Always speak with your doctor or a licensed medical professional before taking any action based on the content you see here. Talk to your doctor before you do anything, please. What is a PSA test? The PSA test is one of the most important tools in men's preventive health, yet far too many men avoid it because they don't know what it is or they're afraid of what it might reveal. Let's clear it up. PSA stands for prostate-specific antigen. PSA is a protein produced by the prostate gland and small amounts naturally circulate in your blood. A PSA test is a simple blood test that measures how much of this protein is in your bloodstream. Why does that matter? Well, higher than normal PSA levels can be a warning sign of prostate cancer, especially in early, more treatable stages, prostatitis, inflammation of the prostate, benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, aka prostate enlargement. But don't panic. Elevated PSA doesn't always mean cancer. It's just a signal that something might be going on and it's worth investigating. Best to check up with your doctor on a regular basis and always seek qualified medical advice before you take action. When should you get a PSA test? Age 40 to 50 plus is when most doctors recommend starting regular PSA screenings, especially if you have a family history of prostate cancer, or are African American higher statistical risk, or experience urinary changes, like difficulty peeing, frequent urges, or weak flow, or you just want to be proactive about your long-term health. How often should you test? If your PSA levels are normal and you're at average risk, every one to two years is typical. If you're high risk or have elevated levels, your doctor may recommend testing more frequently. So what's the test like? It's a quick blood draw, no special prep needed. Results usually come back in a few days. Your doctor will interpret the levels based on age, history, and trends over time. Always check up with your doctor and always seek qualified medical advice before you take any action. A PSA test is simple, affordable, and often covered by insurance or available via at-home kits. Check the video description below for links. Think of it like checking the oil in your car. You don't wait until the engine fails to act. Staying ahead of prostate issues starts with knowledge, not fear. So let's recap. The question is, does daily masturbation damage your prostate? No, it does not. Not at all. In fact, the science suggests it may be one of the simplest and most natural ways to support prostate function and reduce your long-term cancer risk. No shame, no myths, no guilt, just biology, backed by research. That being said, it's always a good idea to talk with your doctor or a medical professional before you take any action that could affect your health. If you found this video helpful, please hit subscribe and join the Prime Male Health Movement, where we cut through the BS and give men the truth about their bodies. Check out the amazing 100% male performance remedy thousands of men are using to feel younger, harder, and more confident without pills, pumps, or surgery. Find out more. There's a link in the description below. Thank you for your company. Thank you for watching. Till next time, take care.